Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? jump right in for today we're gonna patch something new together i've already got something uh that'll do what we need to do but i want to actually patch it together live and show you how i put it together it's really cool and we're gonna use maybe an internal timing to test things out we might go back to the external timing who knows but mm, in general it's good to be back welcome to summer and uh yeah, you know, took a little mini vacation to the Florida area uh, with the family, with the Mama Jamma and the kiddos, and it was amazing. It was awesome. Luckily, had some pre-recorded episodes. Uh, you check them out on the channel, and of course, check out the Native Instruments website, native-instruments.com/en. I guess for English, right? For us English people. And uh, the Summer of Sound, man, they have a lot of sales going on right now. So cool shit. If you're watching this this weekend, check it out. Also, check out the YouTube channel, uh, which was recently just renamed to Something Simple. I was able to conquer the naming. YouTube.com slash Sunday Funday. <clears throat> and you can get all of the goodies, all of the know-hows. Well, some of the know-hows, you know, I'm going through some stuff. But anyway, uh, big things happening, going to continue to happen, and good times always. But for today, what we're going to do is we're going to dig into a... um. A method of making some, <laughs> what I like to call trap hats, but essentially I've been listening to a lot of hip-hop, especially while on vacation, and uh, they have this trap thing going on where there's this variable sort of thing that happens to the uh, velocity and the you know intensity and different things, maybe the decay, maybe the tuning, whatever. Over time, which uh, winds up being a really, really cool uh sound for hi hats. I've always kind of dug that, you know, and uh trap does that kind of shit all the time. So, not going to really need the note in. Uh we're going to have the clock hang around and what we're going to do is just queue up one drum module for now. Also, we'll queue up the uh this is mostly this from toy box by the way. Toy box free pack a lot of this. Um and we'll queue up a couple of gate sequencers as well as a toy box sum. Now, where am I getting all this? Go to or Google, um, or maybe I can find out. Uh, here's what I'll do too I'll find the link to um, the uh, Ask video uh, tutorial, but. Um, at any rate, the the guy, uh, the badass dude, the wizard that made uh, all of the toy box modules. Um, how the hell with this? I'll just look this up. I need to look this up and pay proper homage. Um, you know, he he ran like a master class of uh, toy box and reactor and building and blocks. Uh, so I want to find this on the Ask website. Here we go. Free masterclass. <clears throat> I believe this is it. Um, so 
Locks explored. Yeah, David X. Yes! Designer of the blocks in the free masterclass. So where is the link? You can enroll in the course library and create an account. That's what I did. <clears throat> and you can watch the tutorial from badass Mr. David X. Thank you. And I'll post a link to this as well in the uh, description. But um, essentially, uh, the idea that I got for today is is based on this. And what you do is essentially take gates and sum them together and use that to trigger the drums, but do it in a creative way. So essentially, uh, I can use accents, which if I say put a pattern on this thing and um, I hook this up, so the gate is this, and uh, I say, okay, start playing, you know, and it just starts playing this pattern then I can make an accent as well. An accent is basically a double click. So after that double click, it, you know, switches um, uh, red to indicate that it's now an accent. So what you can do then is take this accent port and instead of hooking it up to like a single gate or the play to play like a single step each time, you can hook it to the chain, which is if you hook it to the chain, then it actually tells the entire sequencer to play through, which is really cool. So then if I want to take a certain number of steps on this sequencer and say program really fast, then I can tell it to do that on an accent. <clears throat> so as you can see, uh, it's starting to play that pattern really fast. So. I, in, a, in a short order, I have a lot of this set up already on the two gate sequencers, and then I'm going to just kind of hook these two gate outputs uh, to the uh, sum, and the sum is going to control the pitch, and let's get what look like hats. Pretty sure some of these are hats, so let's let's take a look as they say definitely hats that's really cool <laughs> All right, so we'll start. We'll start here, and um, essentially, uh, what we're gonna do is first off, mix this a little lower. Uh, also, the pan can be controlled here with this mixer, and there's different mix types and all sorts of other cool shit that we can do here. But we're not gonna worry about that for now. It's already playing this other gate, so what I want to do is patch this in as well. There it is. So you see that variance. It basically starts playing this sequencer every time it hears an accent, so I can program more accents. And that's the basic way that you can create, like, you know, so, uh, something that resembles like a trap hat. Now, what would be also be cool um, is to have... Um, a some sort of variable that you can use to also build in from these accents and I want to you know chain this together in a similar way as well um, is essentially I want to uh, have like a level sequencer that tells um, you know the uh, it tells the to maybe the tuning or the decay or, you know, the whatever, you know, it just tells it to do something different. So I want to use this as a kind of a modulation source, essentially. So let's send this out as such. And let's see what we can do.
Anyway, you get the idea. So you get the idea, and um, with this uh, composition that I was working on, um, we're going to futz around with adding some hats to the composition. So here, pretty quick, we'll let it uh, just kind of take its course.
Until next time.